Good morning and welcome. I'm very excited to have you here because today we are doing a what I eat in a day. And I'm, as you can see, very excited about this because I'm very excited about the diet that I'm currently doing, which is a very, very protein rich diet. And um, since I've been doing this, I've been feeling so much better and it's really been helping my muscles to grow back because I lost a lot of my muscle mass at the beginning of this year because of my big, big inflammation in my knee. And I also had gained somewhat of a good amount of fat at least compared to what my body composition usually used to look like because i was on cortisol so over the last couple of months i have been on my regaining my muscle while losing the fat the cortisol fat journey and since gaining muscles while losing fat is a pretty tricky thing or can be a tricky thing i thought I'll just show you what I eat to achieve that or what I have been eating over the last couple of months. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. Oh, and a short disclaimer, of course, what I show you in this video works for my body. It does not mean that it works for everybody. I am tracking calories right now because calorie counting is somewhat helpful when you try to do a body recomposition because it's, you know, a complex thing. And also, Tracking my food helps me to keep track of my protein, which is my main focus currently. I will put the protein content of the food that I'm eating on the screen. And that's the amount of protein that works for me. But like I said, this is just an inspiration and does not necessarily work for everybody. But now let's dive into the video. First thing is, as you may know by now, my morning tea, which I have every day. It's got no calories, no protein, <laughs> but it's very detoxing and it's very good for your gut. And your gut is very important also when it comes to things like fat loss and muscle gain. Okay, now we're in my kitchen and it's time for breakfast. I'm having oats as I do pretty much every day. I'm kind of the person who, if I find something that I like to eat, I can pretty much eat it every day. But I do have some variation of my oats. Today, for example, I have mango oats, which is very, well, it's not that exotic, but it's kind of exotic and it's very summery and I'm still kind of in the late summer mood, so. So I always prepare my oats the night before and this is basically just oats and mango and water. Yes, I do mine with water. I like that better. And that's the base and now I add a lot of nice things to it. So I always every morning have my how do you call them psyllium husks this is the german word for it Flusamschein. they are very 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 good for your gut health and then i have a little bit of protein powder i love this protein powder it's vegan and this is doesn't taste like anything which i think is perfect for my oats in the morning because i don't like them too sweet then i add cinnamon always because anti-inflammatory and tasty my absolute favorite thing is cashew butter all nut butters are amazing i think because creamy but this is the best because it's kind of kind of sweet but just a teeny bit and it's like the creamiest creamy creamy creaminess that you can get i'm really not good at making this pretty now i added a little bit of teeny bit <laughs> like one broken frozen raspberry on top just to make it a bit prettier for you <laughs> you've never tried cashew butter before especially on top of oats especially with mango you need to so 
Okay, so now we are back in the kitchen and it is time for lunch and I am having a salad which is pretty much my go-to in the summer anyways because it's very easy to do and lots of variation possible and because we're doing protein rich we're having tuna and beans and a little bit of corn and some other tasty little things. About the scale, you don't need one, obviously, but it can help you to get a feeling, especially in the beginning, for the macronutrients that you put on your plate. Because when I started actually tracking my macros, and I thought I didn't know things about macros, but I noticed that I didn't know that much, and that I estimated my macros incorrectly a lot of the time. So I do recommend a scale in the beginning if you can handle it and it doesn't make you crazy and over obsessive. That's very important to still have fun in the kitchen. Again, don't show this cutting technique to your kids and don't do it yourself, <laughs> obviously. It's not the best thing to do, I guess, but it's good for lazy people like me. I know it kind of likes color. If I would be eating tomatoes, I would probably eat, eat and add tomatoes to this. Or maybe carrots if I wouldn't be that lazy. So that there is more color because it's very important to eat the rainbow. But this has lots and lots of proteins and I love it. Now for dessert slash snack, post lunch snack, because I usually don't snack snack unless I'm like really hungry. But I try not to snack. I try to eat enough at lunch to not be hungry until dinner and one thing i've been obsessed with recently is this right here okay you can read it probably because it's german lentil crackers not rice crackers but lentil crackers i've had these made of uh, chickpeas before and these already were really really good and more protein rich than rice crackers but these are insane they have Per 100 gram, I don't know what that's in ounces, but you know, 29 grams of protein. I mean, because they're lentils, just the same as lentils, but you can just snack them. And they're also delicious, I think. They're a bit weird, but delicious in their own way. And one cracker, I think, has almost three grams of protein. I think two and a half. And what I like to do is either um, just eat them pure, plain, or I like to top them with, for example, peanut butter without anything on them they look like this so just like rice crackers and a bit more yellowish and a bit more fluffy i think mm. i'm so happy that people came up with the idea to make crackers out of lentils and now it's 7.30, a little late, and I want to snack something because I feel like, well first I feel like it, <laughs> and second, I feel like my immune system is working a bit, probably because I've been very busy and not being very friendly to my immune system due to a certain big festival which is currently happening in Munich, Germany. So. I'm gonna have a little vitamin C boost as a little pre-snack, <laughs> pre-dinner snack. By the way, if you like to eat grapefruits just like they are, like me, you need to get a spoon like this. Do you see? It has little, um, how do you call them? It's like a little knife on a spoon, which is amazing. The spoon is an amazing tool. <laughs> Whoever invented this, I'm very, very grateful because I love my grapefruit now and then. And see, you can just cut your little pieces out isn't that cool and there you have it and of course it kind of spills still because it's still grapefruit but it's a lot better than with a regular spoon okay for dinner i'm making one of my go-to dishes i mean i mostly do 
go-to dishes, to be honest, because I'm not a big cook, as you might have noticed by now. But I love this. It's very protein rich. It's vegan. It's gluten free. It's free of nightshades. It's dairy free. It's everything free. <laughs> I'm making rice pasta, which is pasta made of, you know, brown rice and um, tofu and vegetables. Very simple. Very good. <laughs> Character of this uh, meal, tofu. It's natural, it's not like the smoked tofu, I like that better. And now, my absolute favorite or secret ingredient to pretty much anything to make everything tastier, healthier, and more interesting, especially if it's very um, a natural, healthy dish like this, is either lemon or in this case, lime. I swear to God, this makes everything so much better. Just use it a little bit on top of anything you eat and it gets so much better. A little more. Can't really have enough of this, to be honest. And then, as a last, Popping cilantro. This is easy. Doesn't this look pretty? So yeah, this was my what I eat in a day on a high protein diet with a slight caloric deficit, which has helped me to regain my muscles way faster than I could have hoped for, while being able again to fit in my jeans from before my cortisol therapy. I hope you find this inspirational. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.